what you're looking at here is a post beam connection. The black arrow is just pointing to the um, gap between the post and the beam. This is holding up a porch and this house is probably about 60 years old. So I just wanted to, you know, point something out to people that have to build something, you know, if, if every every post and beam rafter you know uh, framing plate shear wall has to have some type of a metal you know connector like a framing anchor hangers um, uh, post caps base caps and I'm here to tell you that just take a look at this right here 60 years old in California earthquakes I don't know how many um, problems this building has survived and it's still fine so and, and again I can't tell you how many times I run into something that looks like it wouldn't wouldn't um, still be standing and it is so do you really need all of this framing hardware um, I guess you do if there is a hurricane um, you know, an earthquake, no, I, I'll tell you what, an earthquake, there have been plenty of buildings that just rip apart during an earthquake. Hurricanes, yeah. Um, floods, you know, yeah, maybe, you know, but a, a porch in California, you know, I don't know. So I, I can't say one way or another, but just wanted to show you a picture of a post here that is still standing after about 60 years. Okay, you're worried about the post and beam kind of separating or having a problem. The two or three nails aren't, uh, you know, got you worried there. So you can always add some framing anchors. So these right here, you can purchase them at almost any lumber yard, home improvement center, hardware store. It's probably the most popular um, connector. And I can't tell you how many of these I've nailed on myself. Um, easy to use and if they're outside and you're not going to cover them up make sure that you use galvanized nails for the galvanized framing anchors otherwise the nails are going to rust and if they are outside and you do cover them up and you don't want the um, nails to rust use galvanized nails trust me metal nails steel nails will rust even the manufacturer of these products for their installation instructions call out for a galvanized nail. Now the next picture I'd like to show you a way to cover up the um, framing anchors. If you do attach them you can just put a band around them and uh, everything looks great covers everything up. Okay we're looking at a band, a 2x6 band that was cut and installed around the top of the post really adds a nice finishing touch to it and you can always put these on the bottom one at the top one at the bottom if you feel like putting one in the middle go for it but they do add a nice finishing touch to a post and they do an excellent job in covering up the framing anchors now if you do put a, a band around something like this. Make sure that you get on a ladder and go above the band and just kind of use your imagination. Pretend like it was raining hard and just see where um, any water could penetrate this area. Any spots, any cracks. So I did have to put uh, some caulking around the perimeter of the top of the band and it had to be painted real good. Um, to make sure that everything was sealed. Now you should always check, you know, don't just assume that just because it was done right and everything's great that it, you're not going to have problems in a few, few months or even a few years. So check stuff like this out regularly.